So I've been um, using the uh, T9NAV application, and uh, so it's it's an interesting uh, development, I think, quite quite a transformation on user interface. So you can it's a beta, but you can download it over the internet and then install it, typically via Bluetooth, on a Series 60 phone. So I have it running on a Nokia N82. The only uh, setting that you can really do is whether it's auto start or not. And uh, when it runs, it scans through your phone and finds sort of like doing a, I guess, a bit of a Google of what's on your phone, all the things that might be there. And um, so you, um, you use it really as if you were texting uh, a question about your phone. So, for example, I have the Gmail application on my phone, and uh, it's to launch it normally, I'd have to sort of go up into the application bar and then select it. And even that is because I've manipulated the user interface, because, of course, when people buy their phones, these aren't the default buttons up here, and just changing those buttons is hard enough. So most people wouldn't even, would always have to dig down and find, like they would have to do something like this. And then down like that, and that to launch their Gmail. Let's try that again. GM. There. All right. So there's Gmail. It's at the top. It's a learning thing too. So it it um, figures out after you use it a few times. So let's try it with my uh, a name like my wife, Deborah. There she is at the top. And uh, well, like a bookmark for let's say the Twitter service, DW. There it is, right at the top. So. It's, uh, and to launch any of those things, you just click, and Twitter is going to launch and run. It opens the web browser, etc., etc. So I'll just cancel that. So I think it's uh, quite a good way of, a transformative way of running the software. So that's uh, all there is to it.